So now on this road bike we now want to mount the dynamo. First we measure the diameter of the strut. There we have 13 millimeters. That is, we will look for a bracket for it. The smallest, which goes from 10 to 15 millimeters in diameter. This bracket fits on the frame. The smallest holder is also available for this bracket. Theoretically, you can attach the holder here towards the front, to the rear, left and right. But here's where the brake is and that means only the holder for the front comes into question. And now we check how the dynamo fits with it. As you can see here, the dynamo is much too far away from the rim. So the holder must be mounted on this side. Now we put a small felt strip on the contact surface of the holder. Like this. Then we put the dynamo on. The dynamo has a hole here in the housing. And that's asymmetrical. It's not in the dynamo axis. That means, depending on whether you install the dynamo this way or that way, it will be closer or further away from the rim. If you mount it this way, the dynamo has to be tilted to the side, but we want the dynamo to be reasonably vertical. So now we turn it around. The dynamo comes now closer to the rim. It is important that the grub screw is always at the far end of the bracket. So now everything is pre-adjusted. Now, next thing we have to do is make sure that the dynamo axle is aligned with the wheel axle. And then we have to choose the appropriate holes for the bracket for this. In this case, This is probably the best bracket position. So in this position we will now finally mount the dynamo holder. To do this we take the dynamo away and rotate the whole thing. One washer. And then the first nut. Second washer. And the second nut. We are already loosely screwing on the nuts onto it. Now we turn the guy around again. And take a look at the whole thing. The first provisional view. Now that we have everything properly adjusted, we can tighten the bracket properly so that it never moves away from the spot again. Like this. It's very tight, bump proof. So now the tube is greased all around.
and we also grease the whole of the dynamo. The dynamo is mounted on the bracket this way. And now we take a spacer plate of 2 mm thickness and place it between the O-ring on the dynamo and the rim and make sure that a small piece of the torsion spring will still peek out. In this position we can now tighten the grub screw. Oh, very important! The dynamo holder must be in the folded down position. This means the spring rod must run down vertically. That's the folded position. And now the bracket comes into the folded down position. Then we tighten the grub screw. Little spacer plate may be removed. So now the dynamo has the desired two meters distance. And last but not least, we put this little plug into the dynamo housing from below. With this, the dynamo is sealed at its bottom. A little running test. 